Hey there everybody, what's up? This is OLB, One Lucky Bullet, and today we're going to talk about Mutant Zero, Road to Eden. Uh, it's a game that just came out pretty recently. I think it was Tuesday it came out on um, <clears throat> the Xbox One, PS4, and uh, on PC. Um, if you have Game Pass, you can get it for free. Um, other than that, it's $39.99. Um, not a horrible game, but not like a, a, an amazing game it's not something that you're gonna remember two months from now after you've played it uh, it's pretty short about 15 maybe 20 hours it it does have uh, adjustable difficulties but it's uh, it's kind of brutal so even on normal um, you know you're gonna die quite a few times the game really relies on stealth um, before you engage your enemies so you can sneak around, um, gather up resources or what have you, pick off uh, stray enemies that may or may not be kind of wandering around by themselves. Once you get to that point, um, you know, then it's up to you. You decide how you want to do this. Like, how do you want to engage these overwhelming odds that they have kind of stacked against you? Um, I like the game. It, it, it's pretty good for free I, you know it's hard game to base because that's what I was telling my friend Rav I said you know I don't really know how to base this because I got it for free but other people would have to pay for it so uh, I'm just going to base it off of if I paid for it $39.99 so would the game be worth 40 bucks? no it's not worth 40 bucks. Um, would the game be worth 20 bucks? yep <clears throat> yeah it would uh, the game is has some pretty open areas for you to explore um one of my biggest disappointments so far with it has been uh, the fact that when you go back to the areas again, the enemies don't respawn. I thought they did. And, you know, I thought, well, you know, it's a good way to level up, whatever, but you can't. You can't do any of that. So once you go through an area, you can go back again, and sometimes you'll find some scrap or weapon parts or things like that that you use to upgrade and, and buy things with, but there's no more enemies. So it's, it's very linear in that point um, with the leveling system. Um, you know, to where you can't kind of overpower your guys. When you level up, you get uh, mutation points. The mutation skill tree is pretty straightforward for every single character. It's just goes right down a list. Um, nothing really fancy about it. Um, standard equipment, you can have a primary weapon, a secondary weapon. You can have three grenades equipped. You can have body armor and a helmet. That's it. And then you have your mutations that you can activate when you're in the battle. Other than that, it's it's pretty shallow when it comes to that. Um, a lot of the storytelling is done via in-game uh, audio logs and things like that, or or the characters talking amongst themselves. You do get a few cutscenes here and there, um, but they're they're not great. And then the ending is uh, pretty predictable. You know, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Um, the replayability, there's none there. Once you beat the game, there there's really nothing left to do. Um, there's 12 artifacts for you to collect, which are like permanent stat boosters, and then there's, I think there's around 25 audio logs or notes you need to collect, and then that's it. You've got a few like different areas as you're progressing along the main story and the overview map that you know you can go to to fight optional bosses, maybe get a different weapon or something. But the game does um, make you feel like you're shoehorned. Um, you're never going to be more powerful than your enemies unless you've played through the story up to the very end and then waited to go to the other areas that were optional. That's it. But even then, your guy is still significantly weaker than the other enemies. Like there's there's enemies that are <clears throat> level 35 and you're level 50 and they've got, you know, 30 or 40 health and you still only have 15 health. So it's a it's a strange way they did it. I, I don't mind it. I'm not bashing it. I like the game. It's just, you know, I don't know how much thought really went in this game. I mean, when, when they first showed the trailer, the game looked amazing. You know, it was, it was magnificent. But, you know, I thought it was going to be a lot more in-depth. I mean, you get five characters in the game, but a couple of them share the same mutations and skill trees almost. To the point where it's like, well, what's the point of having five different characters? I mean, and me personally, the, 
the be the, one of the better characters you get. You don't even get to later, you know, halfway or three quarters of the way down the game. Um, I, I like her a lot, but, you know, it is what it is. This game runs supposedly, um, I don't know if it's 4K or 1080, but it's supposed to be, you know, locked in at 30 and 60 frames a second or whatever, but it's not. This game has a lot of stutter. Um, crashed several times on me on the One X. It sent me back to the dashboard or the home screen a lot of times. Thank God it's got a good auto save feature. Um, because I didn't lose any progress, but it's still annoying having to load it and then go back through it again. And, you know, a lot of people are like, well, you know, maybe asking, well, where's some late game footage at? I usually don't put a lot of late game footage into my, my, my reviews cause, as I don't want to spoil stuff for people. Granted, you can just go watch a Let's Play or something. You know, that that's on you if you want to do that. If you want later footage, you know, just let me know. I can you know, do another impressions or, or whatever of it, but I, I generally try not to, to spoil stuff for people. Um, the new format that I'm kind of doing my reviews in, we'll see if it works out or not. You know, I'm trying to be more social, but kind of put a little bit more pizzazz, I guess, if you would, on um, on my reviews. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, I definitely uh, encourage you guys to like and subscribe. Definitely trying to pick up some more. Uh, I really enjoy doing this, trying to keep it going. Back to the Mutant um, Zero. You know, it's a solid 7 out of 10 game. Um, nothing that a couple patches can't fix, but at the same time, I'm not going to give it a, a better score because it needs patches. You know, I'm, I'm not one to do that. So, you know, it is what it is. I wouldn't buy this game for 40 bucks. Um, if you're a Game Pass member, definitely check it out. If you're going to play it on PS4 or if you're going to play it on um, PC, then I would wait till it's on sale for 20 bucks or even cheaper than that because it's definitely not worth the full asking price with the shallow content and the really linear gameplay. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment below, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.